Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a uh, tutorial on Surface Morph. Uh, I did already do one tutorial on it, <clears throat> but I think I want to make its own separate video and kind of reiterate the points I made on Surface Morph. And kind of have like, just this tutorial is really just about the component Surface Morph. So let's get on to it. So, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to create a Surface. So it could be any surface. You can make it in Rhino and then reference it, or you can make it in Grasshopper. Uh, for me, for this tutorial, I'm only going over what Surface Morph is. So I'm going to actually uh, just create the curve in Rhino, just for the sake of simplicity. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to create another one. That looks too similar. Let's just move that up, and then move that down. All right, cool. And now let's go to perspective and just drag this kind of close. Yeah, that's close enough. Then we're going to loft it. <coughs> Not rendered. Oops. And then now once we have it shaded view and the surface created, we can actually do just reference it. So what we're going to do is just do a reference. So surface. There we go. Uh, right click select one surface and now we have it so now we have our surface and I'm gonna hide it so now what we're gonna do is we have our reference surface so this will be important later but for right now what we're gonna do uh, we're going to do we're actually gonna get the exact kind of dimensions of this so we're gonna do dimensions and then we're just gonna plug in the surface and now it's going to give us the U and then the V dimensions of it. Okay. <coughs> sorry. Sorry about that. So once we have that, we can now create a plane. And it asks for the plane, which is for us the XY plane, and then the X dimension and the Y dimension. So we have the U, V dimensions. U, the U dimension is basically the X dimension, and the V dimension is basically the Y dimension. And then there's UVW, so W is the Z direction as well. Uh, so we just plug the U into the X and send here. So once you have that, we're going to, I'm going to surface morph a pattern. So we're going to do the Voronoi pattern, or we could do really any pattern. Um, if this is more of geometrical based, you can do that as well. But you can. So we're just going to do a Voronoi pattern, and then points. Oh, wrong place. I forgot to do. You have to do a populate 2D. Plug this into here. Plug those into points, and this into boundary. So now we have the boundary, and then the populate points. So once we have that, we want to actually start to, uh, we can actually articulate this kind of Voronoi pattern. Instead, we can actually do a offset curve. We can either do this, or we could script it. I like to script it. So we can use the Python script. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a new one of these, and then rename it curve this one direction dir and then distance dis and then we're going to double click this to get the script up enter twice a equals rs dot uh, and then it's lagging a little bit this is looking through all the components right now really Offset curve, curve, direction, and distance. And then you can press OK. <clears throat> now it'll say that it failed, but we haven't plugged anything in. So of course it's going to fail. The curve, the direction are the points. So we want to kind of, it'll be an offset. So the direction is basically from the center, which are these points. And then the distance is, we can pick anything. So let's just plug this in. And now we have our points. And now 
if we want these all to be surfaces, we can do a boundary surface. Or no, we can do, sorry, we can do a region difference. So we have our, so we basically want the inside of these right here, these little areas. We don't want to surface the whole entire thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the region difference. You take the bigger non-offsetted uh, section, and then you take the smaller one, and then put it into the region difference. This may take a while, not a super long time, but it's a lot of geometry, so it doesn't want, it's going to lag a little bit. And what I'm actually going to do is flatten this. So I'm going to flatten that data because this data is flattened. This Python script seems to graft all my uh, geometries together, so. Yep. Again, I apologize. It's just taking a while. I don't know why my computer likes to take a while for everything. So I do, now I can make a surface using boundary surface. And just plug that in. And now I have my surfaces, as you can see. And now we can do an extrude, extrude, and then in the Z direction. And we're going to keep it at 1 for right now. So now we have that. So that looks pretty good, but I want to morph it to this shape, right? I don't want just a random rectangle. So that's where surface morph comes into hand. We take that. So this is the geometry. So we have our surface morph. So as for, since this is about this, I'm going to focus more on the actual component of surface morph. So we have the geometry the reference, the surface, and then the UVW domains, which is basically the XYZ domain. So what we're going to do is ask for geometry. That's pretty easy. So I want to demorph this geometry. Now we're going to go down the list. So ask for a reference. And you're asking, what is this reference? Reference box to map from whatever. So it's empty box parameter. So what you can do is actually create a bounding box. It's the one that says per object, right click and do union box, which means the whole entire geometry instead of bits and pieces of it. So, hold on one sec, sorry. Okay, so uh, flatten this always, and then plug in your extrusion into here. Once you plug in the extrusion into here, you can plug in now your box into reference. So now it has your reference. Now it asks for the surface. So you're going to plug in your surface into here. And now the UVW domains is all going to be uh, 1.00. But there's going to be a problem. Now, if we look at this, <clears throat> it's like stretching it. It's not really morphing to it. And you're wondering, why is it doing that? So the way to fix that is right now, these UVW domains are reading uh, inherently as distance. They're reading as an actual value. So 1 actually equals 1 inch, or whatever unit. Right? We're in inches. So one inch, so it's one inch by one inch by one inch kind of domains it's reading off of. So we want to change it to a quote unquote, instead of it reading as like 17 inches, we want to read it as a percentage. What we mean by that is we want to reparameterize it. Uh, what that also means is instead of treating it as values, we're treating it as a percentage. And now I, when I keep saying percentage, I mean as I want this shape to cover 100% of this area kind of morph it into that shape. And you're like, okay, that instead of, so like a zero to one value. So if I change, let's say 
this to 0.25, the, it'll cover in the x direction only 25% of that surface. And I'll show you what I mean. So what we can do actually is do right click on this, and go to reparameterize, and then click that. Now it's going to morph to the shape. As you can see, it's morphed to that shape. Looks pretty nice, actually. So we can also turn off all this other crap because it's distracting. <clears throat> so now we have this. Now, what I was saying before, actually, I want to keep the surface on. So one thing I want to keep on. So what I meant by now this will prove my theory correct, if it's really a theory, um, that these ones are now valued at 0 to 1, which is a percentage. So we multiply by 100 in order to get it. So 1 times 100 equals 100. So if you want a percentage, you can do the math or you can just look at it. So 1 is now 100%, 100%, 100%. So this is, I know, x. So what happens if I change this down to here? Okay, uh, 67%. So as you can see, we're basically saying cover two-thirds of the surface with that shape. And this one's saying, let's say we want a 50. Or 0.5, sorry. We want 50% of that shape. As you see, it only covers 50% in that, but it's only in that direction. It only covers 50% in the y direction, so in in this direction, as you can see. So if you want all of them, if you want it scaled by half, you would just click this. So the the z dimension is basically the height of this. Oh, 0.5, excuse me, is only is only here the uh, half dimension of it. So Sorry, not half dimension. I don't know what I'm saying. This is the height of whatever it is. So it's basically mimicking the height. So my height is 1. So it'll mimic whatever height I have here. Um, this one? I don't know if this... The surface keeps morphing on the bottom. So if this happens, uh, you can probably just do a negative or an inverse. Oh, let's try this. This should just... Boop. Yep, all right, cool. So... So what I would do, so if you want it at 5 inches, click that, and then plug in 5. And this should go up another 4 inches, because it's already at 1. Because default of unit C is factored to 1. Or maybe it doesn't, okay. Okay, uh, well, I'm not too sure, maybe I was wrong. I thought it worked that way. It's worked on by percentage. It should work. Hmm. Now let me look at this. Uh, so we can do... Let's try at 5. And then we can just shut this to 5. So yeah, but uh, that's pretty much it for this. It's just a matter of surface morphing that. <clears throat> Extrusion to 5. I just reparameterize the surfaces and uh, reference that. So yeah, if you do want it at 5, you can just change this to 5. Because it's basically 5 times the amount it is of 1. So yeah, it's not super hard. So yeah. You see that looks kind of wonky, but it's correct. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this really helped out understanding uh, about reparameterize and uh, surface morph. So you guys, thank you guys for watching. Have you guys a great day, and.